All of them are 226. We got a 223. Just so we can have a better chance of getting mutated one. Okay, are we being for real right now? Therizono. Now I gotta fix everything because a Therizono attacked my sauropod. What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. The reason we're in the Redwoods today is because I've been actively searching for these things, the Diamantinosaur. And I realize I have just shy of enough kibble to tame this. That requires eight, I've got seven. So I found a 135 and we're going to see if we can try and tame this guy. I've cleared out everything in the area, so I figured I'd actively search for them off camera just so we can you know, tame these. Alright, 20%. Actually, you know what? We might be fine. Alright, it didn't wake up. Oh, of course there's a pego! Oh my god! Alright, let me take care of this pego real quick. Now with these guys, there is a chance, a 5% chance they will wake up when you try to tame them or feed them. So you gotta be careful of that. Okay, and one more and it should be good. After this, I'm gonna do a complete dino wipe. And then, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. make sure we have... There we have it. Diamantinosaur has been tamed. After this, I'm gonna do a complete dino wipe. So I can, you know, like, let new creatures spawn in. Because I did download some mods in the past. Like, I've downloaded the game. Can you stop freezing? I get that you're just loading in, but come on. I don't want the game to crash when I just tame this guy. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my way back home. I took a Nothosaurus here and I left it in the uh, the Redwood base. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take it back here and once we get back to base I'm gonna do a Dino Wipe and then we're gonna do some Rex breeding while everything else spawns in. So the next episode I'd like to see what else is around. Maybe I'll tame like a Maelania or or the Barsboldia, because I'd love to tame those at some point. So for the time being, we'll just have to do whatever. Alright, I had just enough kibble to tame that Diamantinosaur. So if we find another high level, then we'll, uh... Then I'll have to get more kibble. Alright, there's a blue drop. I'd also like to get one of those long neck rifles at some point. I was going to say, if we can get one here, that'd be great. No, we just got some cementing paste. I believe that's a Pocoptodon saddle. And some spear bolts. The spear bolts I could probably use as for metal. Just for scrap metal and whatever. Alright. So this is a mutated Nothosaurus that I bred up. It came out at a 203. This will probably be our new guy. So if we take a look and see what we got, let me up the gamma so I can see. I'm going to take the sap back. Whatever other sap we've got, I'm going to go upstairs, see if we've got some sap. Let's head back to base. We'll check out the Diamantinosaurus stats. Try to get a saddle for it. I might not get like the uh, like the accessories, or I might. Who knows? But yeah, we'll get that going. And then we'll see what what kind of stats we have, and we'll and then we'll start breeding up the Rexes, see if we can get like the same stats, and we'll hatch up what we've got, and we'll see what we have. All right, so I'll see you guys back at base. All right, so once we get to the main part of the base, I'm just gonna look at this guy's stats real quick. All right, all right, that's the wrong floor. You know what? I wanted to be on this floor. I wanted to turn the spear bolts into scrap metal. Wow, this, this grinder has really helped out. We've got all the resources in the world. We don't need anything else anymore. Alright, so good job. Let's check out this sauropod stats. I'll see what we need for the saddle. We've got a regular Rex egg. I'll take that. Alright, what are your stats? 35 points into health, 29 points into stamina. 41 into oxygen, so the highest stat is into oxygen. 
31 into food, 32 into weight, 33 into melee. So we've got a female. We're going to need a male in the future. Wow. This guy's pretty big. Mufasa, let's just... Oh, no, that's not Mufasa. That's his mate. Or whatever. I don't know. Something along those lines. But yeah, we've got the Diamantinosaur. This guy is huge. All right, let me go get a saddle for this guy. And maybe some of the extensions, but... All right, I've just done a complete dino wipe. So hopefully, we'll have more creatures spawning in. So for the Diamantinosaur, where do we craft this? I'll get the basic saddle for now. Smithy, all right? All right, Diamantinosaur. Barsboldia. We could make a Barsboldia saddle if we wanted to. All right, can we make the main saddle? That's all I care about. We just need a bit more wood. We should have plenty of wood upstairs. Oh, yeah. A bunch. We got thousands of wood. All the wood we could ever need. And we don't even have to use some for the Refining Forge anymore. We could just have one of the Pyromanes nearby and they'll activate it. Yeah, the Pyromane is definitely a pay-to-win creature. It definitely is. All right, let's get the Diamantinosaur, the main saddle. Need a bit of thatch and wood. Hmm. We need a bit more cementing paper. You know what? I think we can make those. If we just get a bunch more wood and a bunch more thatch. 150. Wow, that's heavy. Damn. All right, you know, while we wait for that, I'm just going to put some... Hi, game. Thank you. I'm just going to put some more stuff away. I'll put this trike saddle away. I'll put that away. All this hide we can put away and the chitin as well as the cementing paste and the sap, we can put that away. The egg we can put in the fridge for now, and the lemons, put that in the fridge, as well as whatever else. On oh, the kibble, we can put the kibble in the fridge. We still got 70 left, so we're good to go. All right, that should be ready. Oh, no, wrong thing. There we go, that's ready. All right, now let's take our Big boy out. How you doing, Gigantoraptor? You're good? Alright, cool. Let's bring you outside. Just so we don't have to worry about anything, really. Alright, Diamantinosaur. The Australian sauropod dude. We'll put the main saddle on you. Oh, and it's like a wooden platform saddle. That's pretty cool, actually. This guy is... Wow, okay. I can see we've got some speed to us. It doesn't look like it at first, but we get faster over time. This could be a good screenshot for the thumbnail. So let's head over and cause some chaos and destruction. With just the saddle. I think you are, like, the ultimate resource gatherer. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have to worry about an ankylo. We could just go over to the metal section and just get all the metal we could ever need. Alright. We've got some accessories. We've got... This is the barrel for the legs. What's this do? Don't ask how it makes the bottles. Oh, does that make beer? It passively produces... Oh, medical brews. Okay, that's convenient. And then we got, like, reduced carry weight. Oh... Okay, this reduces this carry weight. It's at 912 now. That brings it down to 566, okay. And then that brings it down to 548, and then 538. Let's see how this looks. Oh, wow. This is your ultimate pack mule right here. There we go. That looks cool. Right, let's see how much damage we do. What is So left click is like a typical stomp, I would imagine. I know as soon as we get to this leveling... 592 damage. That's pretty good, actually. That is pretty good. And this is relatively easy to tame. You just tame it while it's asleep. And it does have to be asleep when you tame it. Otherwise, it won't work. What does right-click do? Oh, it's like a Mega Star. 8,400. 
Okay, that's a lot. What does C do? Ah, uh, game. 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 Oh, that's like a war. Okay, Pego, I'm gonna need you to piss off. Damn, Pegos. Does X do anything? No. What about control? It glitches the trees. I can see. Alright, let me just grab this nest real quick. This egg real quick. I don't care what level it is. I just want to grab it. So that's the Diamantinosaurus. A pretty good... You know, a pretty good creature. It gathers a bunch of wood. We got a bunch of wood. Holy crap. This is your ultimate harvesting machine. Pretty much. We can just leave you outside the base because you are pretty big. We'll leave you like... The entrance is over here. We'll leave you like out here. That's what we'll do. Actually, you know what? I'll park you like over here. Just so you can... We can have like a little station here. And I can jump up and boom. And that'll be very convenient. So let me just take all the metal out of your inventory. So we got 110. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright, how do I get down from here? I did not think this through. Let's just jump. Oh, we took a little bit of damage, but nothing too serious. Alright, anyway. Next on the agenda, Rex breeding. I'd like to get a couple of Rexes going. So we could, you know get some that are the same exact level. I'd also like to see if I can get some mutated um, Vectospinus and... What the hell? Something's attacking the Mosasaur. Alright, I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute. Let me just turn this on in the meantime. Also, as like a side project, I want to team up a... Uh... Now what's attacking? Oh, good God. I'm just going to have to hope the whale can take care of it. Probably another Megalodon, I would imagine. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Alright. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I want to create a chibi. Not just any chibi. The Axeman's chibi. I know. It's the Axeman's very own chibi, but... This is just until I get my very own, so... What do I need for that? Just one thatch. Not a problem. Alright. You know what? I might just make, like, a dinosaur chibi. I'll, this won't be my permanent chibi. We'll name you Mini Axe, because it only makes sense. Mini Axe. Alright. Only makes sense. Look at him. One of my favorite YouTubers of all time. The Axe Man. Shout out to Dev Alpha for making this guy. And please, I'm begging you. I want my very own chibi. I'm not asking for much. Just a chibi. Because it would be very nice to have one. Alright, you know what? Let me see. We've got like random chibis in the, the summer update, right? Let me see. Holiday. Yeah, random chibi. We just need 10 prime meat jerky. You know what? I'll just get a random chibi. And then maybe I'll just keep, like, axe as, like, a like a trophy figure. Yeah, that's what I'll do. You could be, like, a trophy chibi. Alright, let's see. Holiday. Let's get a random chibi. What kind of chibi are we gonna get? Please be something good. A Microraptor. Oh, and we also got Sintel Sword chibis as well. We've had chibis the whole time. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Microraptor Chibi. We'll use the Microraptor Chibi. I'll name you Mikey. Mikey the Microraptor. Okay, that looks cool, actually. That looks cool. I do like that. Alright, where's that... What's it, a pedestal thing? Yeah, it's a pedestal. There you are. I'm gonna keep the Axeman as like a trophy Chibi. Alright, mini axe. Is there like a chibi, like a chibi pedestal that I could put you in? No. Huh, 
Okay, never mind. I'll probably put like an artifact on there or something. I don't know. You know, mini axe, you can just go in here for now. Alright. Now, what was it? Oh, yeah, breeding. Got my very own chibi anyway. Alright, we got a micro raptor chibi. You can go on in, Mikey. No one will bite. Alright, first things first. Let's check out our Rex eggs. There we go. Let's go ahead and take those out. Hold on, what level are our pyromanes? 223. So if we have any 225s, we do. We got some mutations. Let's see, 223. I'll just use you as reference. 225. I believe that is a health mutation. We got a health mutation on the female and a food mutation. We got a food and a health mutation. The green one might be, you know, I'm going to take a look at the, I'll take both of them out just in case. Let's see, 227. Nope. I don't think we got those. We did get 226. Hmm. I think those... No, those are from the 223s. Let's take a look at this female with the health mutation. Yeah, you've got a health mutation. And the one with the food mutation, I believe, has some type of green. Let me just take a look at the green one. Eh, you don't look too different. If we want a mutated one, you know, we'll get some females for, like, perfect stats. That's what we'll do. Alright, so... Pyro main. All of them are 226. We got a two, 223. Just so we can have a better chance of getting mutated one. Okay, are we being for real right now? Therizono? Now I gotta fix everything because a Therizono attacked my sauropod. Great, I can't put them in. Alright, there we go. Let's get the racks. <sighs> I'll fix the Vector Spinuses in a minute. Alright, there we go. Alright, Pyro Mains, let me fix you. Uh, okay, can we jump? I have an idea. There we go. Yeah, Pyro Mains are just pay to win creatures. That's what they are pay to win. Your turn radius is pretty terrible. Yeah, you got the turn radius of a truck. Actually, you do turn on your own, don't you? Yeah, we'll just let you do that. And then I'll just run. Oh my god, what's attacking the aquatics now? There's always something attacking the base. We should be good to go. Let's, uh, kill all of those. Get rid of the poop. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm dropping the Rexes, right? All right, let's see what we got for Rexes. So, all right, we need pretty much the same level. We got a 240 and a 225. So what we need is like, uh, what do we got? 237, 240, 227, 225, 228, 228, 225, 228, and 240. All right, so let's see if we can get like we'll get a 240 female, and then and then a 240 male. Let's see, 41, 42, 41, 42. Let me compare these two. 37, 37, 37, 30, 35, 47, 47, 42, 42. Yep, that's that's bang on. All right, so we can kill the rest of these. I'd also like to try and get a stronger Uterenus at some point. Simply because, you know, we need, like, stronger Uterinus. I'd like to get an imprinted version. We got a 135 female, and we also got the 15 male. That's not good enough. All right, while we're at it, let's get the Vecta Spinus. We'll start working towards the Vecta Spinus. Hatching those up. And we'll have to see what happens. And then I'm thinking next episode we go on our first artifact adventure to try and find a an artifact cave or whatever. Because I'd like to 
at some point get the artifacts ready to fight the bosses. I'm not in too much of a rush to do that because, you know, I figured I'd get it done because, like, Aberration's going to be out in September next month. So I figured we would just, you know, go ahead and do whatever. All right, so let me just uh, do a round of reading and the Vector Spinus. So for mutations, the level we're looking for is 209. So let's see what we got. 209. No mutations whatsoever. So they're all 207, okay. All right, we got the two 240s breeding up, and while we wait for them to breed up, I'm gonna see if I can get a long neck rifle and some trank darts. Do we have any ammo? I don't think we do. We're gonna have to make some. That's okay. With our chemistry bench, we should be able to make gunpowder with no problem. All right, so let's go ahead. We've got all the narcotic we need. Let's get some stone. Maybe... Oh, we got plenty of charcoal right here. Awesome. All we need now is flint. Let's turn this on. Make as much spark powder as we can. And then we'll make as much gunpowder as we can. Put the extra stuff in there. As much gunpowder as we can. So then we can make the arrows. And then we can make some trank darts. And we should be good to go. Yo, we got so much gunpowder from that. It's not even funny. Alright, let's put the gunpowder in here. Alright, let's get weapons. Ammo. Let's get some of these. Oh yeah, these come in twos. I forgot about that. We're definitely gonna run out of gunpowder before we run out of, you know, the other stuff. Alright, let's get some narcotic out and ready to go. And then if we want to make shocking ones, we're going to need some biotoxin for that. And of course we'll keep ammo for the whatever. Alright. I should probably fix my crossbow for the time being. Alright, let me just check my diamantina sword real quick. Maybe you had some flint on you that I was missing out on. There we go. That should be good. Alright, I think I fixed the aquatics for now. All right, let me just go ahead and check on the Trank Darts. And then we'll be able to basically do whatever else. You know what? Might get some shocking Trank Darts as well. Maybe get some Biotoxin so we can get some arrows. I'm just, like, doing this while I wait for a new batch of Rexes to hatch up. All right, now we've got Trank Darts. So for the most part, we can knock creatures out with them. And if I find a better rifle, then we'll definitely... Go after that. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... See if I can find some Biotoxin. I'm gonna take the Nothosaurus out. Oh, yeah. I must have went after whatever was attacking the... Oh, God. I'll, I'll clean this up later. Right now, let's just, uh... Swim over. I've got the Gecko on my shoulder, so we should be fine. I'm gonna go on another underwater adventure for biotoxin. All right, let's see if we can find some jellyfish, because those are a good source of biotoxin. Oh, there's some right here. Now, I'm pretty sure this guy is immune to jellyfish stings, so I'll have to see what happens here. Oh yeah, we don't have a problem with this. It's like going jellyfishing in Bikini Bottom. All right. There we go. We should have some biotoxin and whatever. Now we do need more metal ingots so we can, you know, harvest them and whatever. All right, let's just jump around. Oh, hello. That's a level 20. Rainbow hammerhead shark. Oh, we got hammerhead sharks in this game. Huh. That's from a mod. That's not vanilla. That's a modded creature. Like, the Nothosaurus is a modded creature, so is the Gecko. With all these modded creatures, this series has been very interesting. I really like this. I kind of don't want it to end. Most series I would, like, get tired of, like, real quick. But this one... This one's fun. Because of all the neat creatures you could tame. I think the Biotoxin, yeah, it's inside of you. We've got some Biotoxin anyway. All set to go. 
We need some shocking trank darts. That's what we need. Um, let me see. Uh, we need more metal. That's what we need. Do, do we have any metal ingots? I don't think we have any metal ingots at all. So I'm, I might just go on a quick metal run. And then we'll go from there. Uh, where's the D-Arc? Alright, let's take our Diamantina sword. Now, I do believe I have to take off these extensions. Simply because they'll fall apart. Either that or they'll end up in my inventory. So, we'll just keep the main saddle. Oh, right. You got all the resources in the world. We don't need all that. We can get more of that. We could just drop all this. What are you... A Jijungasaurus. Wow, you're big, actually. Oh, you're after me. Damn. Ouch. Ow. Those Stegos are actually super aggressive. Let me see if we can kill it. Should be able to. Raptor after us. A couple raptors. That was a beautiful raptor. There it is. I see it. Got a bunch of hyenas. We'll just kill everything in the area. Is that a rhino? That is a rhino. There we go. Alright, I think that's everything. So now we can go ahead. d -arc. Great job, buddy. And you can get to work smashing those. Let's put the extensions back on you. Great, I can't see anything because of these trees in the way. Let's right-click, see what happens here. Oh, yeah. So much metal. We never have to worry about metal again. Hello, Pyroraptor. What level are you? 90? Oh, of course you turned into a phoenix. You turned into a phoenix, of course you did. Uh, we don't have to worry about metal ever again. This guy is just really good. Oh, killed the hyena, Don. All right, let's head back home. Wait, do we do we collect crystal? Actually, there's only oh, we do collect crystal. That's good to know as well. So we're like the ultimate gatherer. This guy is honestly really good. I'd love to get an imprinted version just to see what it can do damage-wise. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled for a high-level one in the future. Let me see how much damage we do with this stomp. 10,000. That's really good. And we can actually gather meat as well, which is very convenient for a herbivore. Now let's park you over here. And then on my spare time, I'll get all the metal ready and uh, we'll put it in the thing. And we'll have plenty of metal ingots for days. But until then... Wait, what is that? What are... What are those... Th oh, they're Eocarcarias. Anyway, until then, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.